up, go back up. Okay, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I think he wants you to stop, I'm not sure though. During the autumn of 2012, we'd been hunting the residents of Providence. But since bigger coalition fish had moved in close to them during the winter, we decided to hunt the people hunting them. Which is not to say that Providence needs anyone's help, just that it's fun to fight the good fight. Sign us up. It's up. Put your hardness on, if they're active ones. Come on, load. In that position. Find webs, if you have got webs appeared. Of course, a ruthless pipe bombing campaign has the effect of driving fleets away. Approach the gate, approach the gate, approach the gate. We Oops. killed everyone, they're mad. <laughs> we got them, good game. <laughs> the targets in Providence soon dried up, and we found ourselves needing a more southerly relay tower in order to hit the Honey Badger Coalition in a region called Catch. Pipe bombing needs bridging titans, and bridging titans need towers. The system chosen was 7MDS-1, which belongs to CVA, the Armarian overlords of Providence. Unfortunately, we forgot to tell CVA about any of these plans in advance, and, being rightly indomitable in spirit, they immediately formed a call to arms to engage our freshly anchoring control tower. So there we were sitting in a freshly online tower with our usual fleet of Navy Apocalypse battleships garnished with some Macarials, Vindicators, Balgorns and the like. CVA had entered the system with an Oracle and Guardian fleet with shield tank reinforcements from the north en route. They had the numerical advantage but we had much heavier tank ships and we wanted to force a decisive engagement quickly to avoid days of tower harassment and get our main business underway. Here's where things take a strange turn. As you may know, when you online a control tower, the force field only becomes active when you enter a password. It's an irreversible process and you can't take the force field down again without offlining the entire tower. The reason we had not yet entered a password to erect the shield was because I envisaged some kind of long escalating fight at the tower, where the honey badgers might also involve themselves. It seemed prudent to keep open the option of raising the shield until later, so that we could hurl the hostiles dramatically away from the battle, if required. But while we sat there, John expressed how naked he felt at a control tower without a shield, and decided to mask this troubling nudity with an impromptu Hictor bubble centered directly on the tower. Can I do it? Can I put the bubble up? I want to put the bubble up. Well, it, it might be a cunning ploy because they'll think they'll warp to the pause at some range and then they'll hit the bubble, thinking it's a pause bubble, but really it's your bubble. The bubble is now up. Yeah. Aha! <laughs> the pause bubble is squint. But this is brilliant, it now looks like Mesh is slightly outside this world, so they might come and try and kill him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what a brilliant plan! Don't Why do we never think this before? I mean, look at it. I did the um, yes, Wait, comms, 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 comms. CVA warping T-R. Out of their yep. tower. Yep, they are all on skin. The reason it would be enticing for them to try and kill an expensive ship that is sitting outside the tower shield is, of course, because ships inside force fields can't lock ships outside force fields, and vice versa. Thus, we can't repair the Macarials sitting outside the shield from inside the shield, and our slow navy Apox would have to trundle out of the shield before being able to lay fire onto the enemy. Except that, as is usually said of spoons, there is no shield. It's just John, sitting very still in a heavy interdictor, but since for the reasons outlined earlier the tower status does say online, 
the effect is surprisingly convincing. You got you got who's in, right? Let's yep. check. As soon as if, if they're landing and hitting our fake bubble, then it's on. Orbit they're they're landing. Oh, no, no, bump. no, they bounced. They bounced. Okay, good. I, I, I can hit out to there though. Shall I try pop it? Forget. No, 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 no. Let's not show that. Man. Don't shoot, don't shoot from the tower. They're warping off. The hostile fleet warped to a distant spy spot to take stock of the situation, but there's no sign yet that the game is up. And so we put more clear air between the bubble shield and Eldrath's Beccarium to make things more juicy. Actually, I'm, I'm, my clang is not reacting. They'll be landing in a second, get ready. They're, right They're waiting us. on us. They're, They're landing on us. Help. Jumped. Right, we'll go for Alfie we first. Bridge. Alfie. It's me, it's me. Drop I'm gonna burn into them and try and bubble with you. Four caps. Uh, I've got some gimmick on me as well. Alfie, Second and then we're going to admin. Admin. Agent restores Eldrath from half armor while a flurry of Navpok fire erupts from far inside the false tower. Uh, you've got Brian you Castle. Fine. 50 now, and then we're going to uh, admin even. And 50. And then Big Bad Dan, whatever. Big Bad Wolf. Go for Aaron in the Falcon after that. Yeah, okay. Falcon. Kill Falcon. Aaron. More custom. No, I'm going to check on measurement. Yeah. Kill. Kill Aaron. Aaron. I'm trying to act and I'm like, no, no, tomorrow. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, go back to Biffy now. Biffy. You guys have a broadcast. I can't really see who's shooting their shit. I've got multiple people being shot. I've locked by their five leaves. Okay, second go for this. Uh, go for this um, Naga now. This Naga. And then this Naga. Yeah, go to my life. Four past two Nagas. I've, I've killed uh, eight people first. Eight people. And then we're going to go for all. Bridges up. Please. Last one. Last one. Then. And then speed MTA, 10 left. Good points on expensive stuff, good points on like guardian things like that. And then we're gonna go for Falkis, Falkis, and then Lucian. Far range. Yes, so far range, so Falkis. Point R box, Falk on. Falkis. That's the best there. Lee 9, Kaldari Navy, let's go, getting close. The Guardian, uh, John Bavaria, with an APOC. Do we have that APOC? Yeah, I've got my good enough for one of them. Okay, should be APOC. He's been at Athens. Well, then watch your Avengers. Just go for the scope for now. Thanks for that. Too bad. Let's go for Lee 9. Lee 9, 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 Long after the fight, there was a ceremonial changing of the guard, or perhaps we might say a changing of the bubble. The engagement proved decisive in the short term, and soon an amicable agreement with the locals was reached for using the system as a staging point. We even had the honor of working with them on a few operations. As for the tower itself, it stood tall and lived long, and did its little part in the sort of endeavours that you may already be familiar with. I know just one up on the gate. Oh crap, Brooks and Kings maybe.